HTTP is the protocol that powers the World Wide Web. It's also the protocol that powers many APIs. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and was originally designed for the communication between web browsers and web servers. One of the many great things about HTTP today is that it's easy for us humans to read and understand, which in turn allows us to work with it to implement and consume APIs too. Let's look at some of the different characteristics of HTTP. It's a client server protocol and there are requests and responses which have more or less the same structure made up of three parts. Requests start with a method and a URL. Then come a series of headers which describe aspects of the request. Then after a blank line, there's the body, also known as the payload. This is optional and depends on the request. Responses start with the status code and text. Then come the headers and the optional body, just like with requests. There are a limited number of request methods, also referred to as verbs, each one conveying a particular semantic intent. Along with the method at the start of a request is the URL, also referred to as the noun. This is usually a relative URL, without the hostname part, which is conveyed instead via one of the request headers. HTTP requests and responses both use headers to provide metadata about the given request or response. These headers serve many purposes, such as describing the size and content type of the payload, cache management and content negotiation as well. While requests start out with a method and URL, responses start with a status code before the headers and optional body. The status code is set on the response by the server and indicates the success, or otherwise, of that response. Status codes are usually issued with a short status text as well. You may already be familiar with some status codes, but did you know that the status codes are actually grouped into five ranges, with each range covering a different type of response? There are many tools with which you can explore the wonders of HTTP. Beyond your browser, there are utilities such as Postman and many command line tools such as curl, which is everywhere, even on Mars, where HTTP is used too.